Hi, this is Dirk Morris, and I'm going to be giving a brief demonstration of the web cache application. We're very excited to now have web caching available. It's probably been the most requested feature we've ever had. And the web cache application works just like all the other apps. You install it on a Tangle, and it's transparently going to cache web content on your network. So you both will have a faster internet experience, and you're going to save bandwidth. I'm going to start by logging into Untangle. This assumes you've already got Untangle up and running on your network. Once logged into Untangle, you'll see the list of already installed applications over here in the middle, and a list of available applications over here on the left-hand side. So I'm going to go over to Web Cache and click on that. That opens up a window with more information about the Web Cache application. For this demonstration, the free trial will work perfectly. It's fully functional. works for 14 days. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Once you do that, you'll notice it starts downloading the Web Cache application into your Untangle server. Once that's complete, the application will be installed in the virtual rack over here in the middle. At this point, Web Cache is actually already installed and is fully caching web content on your network. There's no need to change any of the configuration of any PCs behind Untangle, any of the web browsers. Unlike most web caches, there's no proxy settings. You don't need to change proxy settings in any of the browsers or other devices on the network. This just operates totally transparently and caches web content as it passes through Untangle. If you click on the settings, you can see some of the settings. There's really not too many settings involved with web caching. You can get some general information about how effective your web cache is being. A cache hit means a certain request was found in the cache. So instead of going out to the internet and downloading it like normal, it's just going to serve it up from the local cache. A cache miss is basically a normal access, meaning it wasn't found in the cache and it's going to go out to the internet and download it and then store it in the cache in case there's another request. There are some settings about in the cache bypass where you can actually say do not cache certain sites if for some reason you don't want to cache certain sites if you're working on certain sites or for performance reasons you don't want to cache certain sites. Back on the faceplate you can also see some general statistics and you can watch over time as things change to see how effective your cache is being. So let's walk through a typical use case and show how effective the cache can be for you. Let's say somebody sends out an email with an image I've actually gone ahead and used Google Images to find a very big image. This one's being served up from all the way across the world in France, and it's actually a fairly large image, around 15 plus megs. So as you can see, when I start downloading that image, it takes quite a while. But while this is being downloaded from the Internet, it's also being stored in the local cache. So if I clear my, my local browser cache here in the browser, open up a new tab and download it, you'll notice the second time it loads almost instantaneously. That's because this time it's actually found in the local cache. When my browser goes out to request this, the local cache says, I actually have this on hand, and I'm just going to serve it up right here. So both, I get a much faster experience, and we save a lot of bandwidth. So if I then email this out to everybody in the company, saying, hey, check out this funny picture, both we save a lot of time, because everybody loads it instantly, and we save a lot of bandwidth. Another common example is downloading Windows updates. So let's run through an example of how much web cache can save you for Windows updates. I'm going to switch to a, a Windows XP machine behind the Untangle server and web cache and we're going to run the update and see how long it takes. It took about 15 minutes to download all those updates. Now we're going to go to a new machine and try it for a second time and see what happens. So now that we've downloaded all those Windows updates, if we go back and check the web cache statistics, you'll notice you'll see a lot more cache hits. That's because all those files being downloaded the second time were cache hits. If I go into settings and just set, check the statistics, you'll notice a whole lot of bytes have been saved. Over 100 megabytes 
And that's because we were downloading over 100 megabytes in updates. And that's just two machines. So if you had 100 machines, 500 machines, 1,000, 5,000 machines, each time Microsoft rolls out an update, all those machines are going to download that update. With WebCache in place, the first machine to download the update is going to download it from Microsoft, but after that it's stored in the cache. So every machine after that, the next 500, 1,000 machines, are all going to download it right out of the cache. So it saves a lot of bandwidth and a lot of time. In addition to the statistics on the faceplate, there are also reports available for web cache. So if you log into your Untangle server and view the reports, you'll see a web cache section, and that'll allow you to see what the web cache is doing throughout the day. This is the daily report for yesterday, so on an hourly basis you can see how much it's cached versus how much it didn't cache in hits, and here you can see it's caching 1,000, 1,500 hits an hour. Um, you can see overall how much it's saved for this given day. You can also look at reports for weeks or months, and you can look at it by size as well. So a lot of useful information about how much is being saved in there. So to review briefly, web cache is a great application for those people looking to save some bandwidth or perhaps just a little bit faster internet access. If you'd like to see how web cache can help your network, just remember you can go over here to the left hand side, click on web cache and download the free 14 day trial. Thank you for watching this demonstration.